Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about motorcycle gas tanks. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, this is gonna be our last part in a series of hydro dipping a motorcycle uh, itself. And so uh, if you missed any of these others, then we have a part one, which is for the front fender. Of course, the link will be in the description below. And then we also have part two, which was for a rear fender. Again, the link will be in the description below. And and then of course the part three which is the end of the series is going to be on the gas tank itself and so pretty much in this video what we're going to focus on is more or less how to dip a round object like this because inevitably this is not going to be that great in one dip and so uh, what we're going to talk about more or less here is, is that uh, we're going to be doing this in two sections and so you can see we've already got everything uh, taped off from uh, the dip steel on this center section here and then of course uh, we've dipped this one section here and then this one section here and pretty much kind of go over all of that so then that way you can kind of see how we're going to go from a older tank or even a brand new tank but going from that into a tank like this which has a custom hydro dip all over it and then you have a really nice seam coming right up through here which is almost seamless with a pattern like this right here so let's get started we're ready to dip this tank and so a couple of things that we're gonna do of course number one we're gonna be dipping this in two sections uh, of course we got our first section over here so half and then of course our other section over here so the other half of it and so if you've watched any of the other videos uh, this is going to be pretty much uh, the same exact standard way of doing almost any type of motorcycle gas tank and so um, pretty much what we're going to do is we've got a uh, nice line going right down the middle right down here and so uh, we've already got our paper and our tape ready to go so again, we're just gonna take this right here and then we're just gonna lay this down, right down that middle bead, right down through there. And then we'll come back in, we'll find the middle bead back here. And then of course, lay this all the way down the middle and then we're ready to go. And then of course, we'll finish this out. We'll take and lay that in so maybe our line got a little bit off we'll come back in with some actual tape and uh, fix all of this area right here because we do have this little pickcock that is or vent tube that is right here that's preventing us from getting on to that not a big deal at all though again all this is really for is is just to prevent any of this dip right here from the first dip to get onto the painted section that we've already got for the second dip so We'll go ahead, we'll finish this out, we'll lay our film out, we'll get it in the water, and show you guys the end result. So, here we go. All right, perfect. So, now that we've got everything all lined up, we'll turn this thing over, we'll make sure that this completely wraps all the way around and tucks in nice and neat on the back side right here, because again, we don't want any of the dip to end up on this side right here and so what we're going to do here is, is we're going to take our tape and we're going to attach it just kind of like this just mainly just to kind of keep it held in place it doesn't have to be um, perfect but it just has to hold for whenever we are actually dipping the part and so like we can set that way back there and then mainly we'll sit there and hold that like that that looks good, we'll double check right here. So we got a little bit right there that we're gonna tape off on the brackets. So we can take this, set that like that, tape off that bracket, and then now we should be ready to go. So we got a really nice uh, crisp line coming right down here. We fixed this area right here, and of course, everything's ready to go. So now we're ready to dip it. And so the dip, it's gonna be pretty standard, pretty simple. We can hold it like this right here and we're gonna angle it a little bit more towards the front side because if it's going to stretch, I would rather have it stretch on this bottom side down here than on this top side up here. And so um, pretty much all we're gonna do is we're gonna hold it just like what we did before, just like this, and we're just gonna go almost straight down into the water with it, just like this right here. So then that way 
it allows the film to wrap all the way up into here, all the way up into here, and then of course, if it does have a stretch, hopefully it's on this back side right in here and not more up in this area right here because inevitably it's gonna be sitting like this. The rider's gonna be looking at it. Everybody's gonna be seeing all of this area, you know, all the time. So we wanna make sure that this looks as good as possible. So let's get our film, let's lay it out and um, get to dipping. So here we go. So the one thing that you definitely got to make sure of is, is that you're ready to push because with this film right here, um, it wasn't bad on the film, but definitely on the dip, you got to make sure that you're ready to push because this thing is buoyant. So um, it definitely creates a pretty good barrier as far as being able to push it down into the water. So um, all in all though, from what I can see, I think it looks pretty good. So uh, we'll get this rinsed, get this um, uh, untaped, and then uh, go again with the other side. So here we go. All right, so we've got the first part dipped and everything is rinsed off. And then of course, now we have taken and we've put our tape back down here. Now, if you'll notice on the tape line alone, I've got about a quarter to an eighth inch gap all the way, or no, I'm sorry, not gap, but overlap, uh, all the way down this side here. And so um, if you, look here you can see that whenever this part gets dipped it's going to overlap onto this just that little bit right there all the way down the entire line of where we've got it at and so that way that helps overlap everything helps blend it together a little bit better and um, pretty much everything will look a lot better by doing that so now that we've got everything all taped off we're going to go ahead we're going to lay our film out we're going to get it cut lay it in the water and of course dip the other side of the tank and then show you guys what the end result is. So um, let's get started. like we got a good hit all the way around through there beautiful coloring of course we'll come back in we'll black all this in down into here but uh, all in all I think that dip came out really good so uh, we'll get the tape off and then um, we'll pull it off we'll get it all rinsed off and then show you guys the end results so stay tuned all right so we got everything all finished we got everything clear coated came out looking really good I think the customer is definitely going to love it so just as a recap, just so you guys can see, uh, we've went in, uh, we have done any of the touch-ups that we needed. Of course, you saw that we had some stretch on the inner sides down into here. Uh, we've came back in, we've airbrushed that in, and then of course, we've came back in with any little spots that might have had like a little spot on it or a, um, a white speck or a bubble or anything like that. Uh, airbrushed those in, everything came out looking really good. So you can kind of see 
going all the way underneath into here. Of course, inevitably, it's going to stretch just like you saw, but we uh, have finished it all out with a nice black all the way in here. So that way, everything looks really professional. Everything looks really good. And then, of course, coming around to this other side, everything looks good all through here. And then, of course, the top side, we've got a good coverage all the way around this entire section, all the way through here. And then, of course, we've still got everything taped off inside here that needs to be, and right here for the center section plate that's gonna set right here. So, pretty much, um, this one is just about ready to go. Uh, there's a few little spots that we might uh, buff out on it or something like that, but all in all, as far as the dip goes and everything like that, I think it came out really good. Um, we're, uh, we're pretty happy about it, and um, hopefully this has really helped you out on getting a motorcycle tank dipped in a two-part just like what you just saw earlier. So um, if you have any questions or comments about the video or the tank itself, definitely leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related or even motorcycle related or anything like that. Um, also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks. And also, if you do like the video, definitely give us a big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate that as well. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.